there guys, my name is Coach Shadow to the board, board built for theme park news and welcome to the next of our weekly or weekendly poll reactions and uh, as you know Poll 5 will be launched by the time this is uploaded, so by the time you're first watching this, Poll 5 should already be out, uh, unless something drastic happens. Uh, but, today is all about reacting to the poll results and, excuse me, your reactions and your comments and responses to the poll. Now, of course, this one, I decided to switch it up a bit because... Um, I thought, you know what, let's switch it up and let's make it a bit of a fantasy poll. Let's make it a little bit more dreamlike. Um, and also, it's something that's very, very important personally because I feel like uh, mainstream TV is nice. To, it's nice to for YouTubers to get that sort of uh, recognition and it's nice for YouTubers to be a part of that. And, you know, it sort of brings out the best in our community when people are on you know the mainstream platforms so you know it, it was nice to switch it up really and go down that path so what I did was I put together a poll of what shows you think I would be good at and we're gonna look at your comments we're gonna look at your reactions to that poll and also look at the results first of all so before you get started guys make sure you like comment subscribe click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video and for now let's get into the poll and let's have a look at the results first of all so, of course, the options were Dancing on Ice, I'm a Celeb, Strictly, Celebrity SAS, or all of them. And let's have a look at the results. So, joint last place on 4% is all of them, every single one of them, and Dancing on Ice. In third place uh, is Celebrity SAS on 9%, Strictly Come Dancing on 15%, but the out-and-out -out winner by 68% is I'm a Celeb, Get me out of here! Uh, so that's the show that you guys want me to see, uh, want me to be on the most. Uh, but now we're going to have a look at your comments and responses. So the first comment comes from Hayden Brown, who says, "I really would like to see if Aaron has survival skills." Well, thank you very much for your comment, Hayden. And I'll be honest with you, I've got no survival skills. I've got literally no survival skills whatsoever. Um, like, I've only been camping once, and that was Blackpool a few years ago, and it was on a camping site about five, ten minutes away from the Pleasure Beach. And, um, yeah, I wasn't too good at that. I wasn't too good at making, you know, campfire stuff. You know, I wasn't good at setting up tents or putting in fires or anything like that. So... I would be awful at things like, you know, I'm a celeb and, you know, I saw that show recently, Don't Rock, Don't Rock the Bow, and um, I was like, the land challenges I'd be alright with because of the heights, etc, but I wouldn't, in terms of the rowing, I can't get the technique right, let alone row at all, so I can't even, you know, I would be terrible at Don't Rock the Bow, but... I mean, to be fair, I mean, I, I, I wish I remembered to add that option in as a fifth option instead of all of them. But um, I wonder how many of you would have voted for Don't Rock the Boat, though. I'll, I'll be interested to know. Comment down below if you would have voted differently and voted Don't Rock the Boat instead of one of the other ones. But, you know, I think with that one, I think I'd be bad at rowing, but the land challenges, like with the heights and stuff, I would be all right with. Um, but shout out to the cast of Don't Rock the Boat 2020. Hopefully we get a Series 2. I really want to see Series 2. And, um, you know, that was a good show. But I'm a celebrity, etc. In terms of survival skills, I would not be good at that whatsoever. So I think if I ever did that show, I would be awful. I probably would have the first out because I've got no survival skills whatsoever. I'd give it a good go. I'm not one of those people that's going to give up. But I would not be very good at it. So, I mean, I, I appreciate the comment, Hayden. But honestly, I've got no survival skills. But maybe that's how you learn. Maybe that's how I learn survival skills. Maybe I just get thrown to the lion's den straight away. Uh, but thank you very much for your comment, Hayden. Let's go on to the next comment. Jack Whitlock has commented saying, I think Strictly Come Dancing because I can just see Aaron dancing around. Keep up the great work. Thank you very much for your comment, Jack. Um, thank you for saying keep up the great work, first of all. And secondly... Um, again, this is this comes down to skills and experience. I have no dancing experience whatsoever. I would be terrible on that show. Um, like, I... Jeez Louise. I couldn't even, you know... I, I couldn't even walk in a straight line sometimes, let alone dance. So, you know, I think I'd be awful at that show. So... 
I think that that one is a tough one for me. I think that Strictly Come Dancing is a great show. I've loved it for ages. I've loved it since it first started. Ever since it first started, I was watching it. And, um, you know, it was a dr it's, it's a dream to be on that show. But in terms of actually having experience, I have no experience whatsoever. So I would be terrible. Um, but it would be a good experience, wouldn't it? Going to Elstree every week and going to the training rooms every week and learning new dancers and, you know, just stepping outside your comfort zone and learning new skills. That's the fun part. But the, the not so fun part is actually doing it because I look like a hippo in a tutu. That is basically what my kind of balance is in terms of the technique. So I would be awful at it, but I'm glad to see that you want me to be dancing around the floor every week. But I mean, well, I mean again, we'll see. Uh, but I'd be, I'd be terrible. And that's just first opinion. So, you know, I mean, <laughs> if I ever do do it, then I guess you'll be happy. But, I mean, again, I'll be awful at that show. So, thank you very much for your comment anyway, Jack. And uh, thank you very much for enjoying the videos. Let's get on to our next comment. So, Noah Smith said, I think you'd fit well into the I'm a Celeb talking about you're interested. I can also see you sat around the campfire. Thank you very much, Noah, for your comment. And, uh, again, I'm a Celebrity, another fantastic show. Um, I think that that one is an incredible show. I think that uh, the people on there are really good. I think that... Uh, the format of the show is brilliant as well, and I think that, um, you know, I'm not going to, I mean, to be fair, you, you see the struggles, you see the struggles of, you know, you can only see what you see on camera with the Bush Tucker trials and just everyday conversations at certain points throughout the day, but you got to remember, this isn't just at certain points in around an hour, two hour show, this is, um, this is literally, you're looking at it as... You've got all the 24 hour 24 7 activities as well like cleaning the dunny and you know doing different jobs and keeping your role and, and sticking to it and it's like a 24 7 show you only see what you see on camera but there is more stuff onto it so you know again i'd be bad at that show i'm not gonna lie i think at first i'd be bad at that show um but i think there are positive moments that would keep me going and keep lifting me um you know like the letters from the family letters from home and you know just just different things like the like winning trials winning stars um if you if i did the skydive at the beginning i would be all right with that because i'm not i'm, I'm all right with heights so i'll be all right with that it's the creepy crawlies that scare me about i'm a celebrity it's always the creepy crawlies i'm fine with heights i'm fine with water i'm fine with mud as long as i stick my fingers in my ears but um you know i think it's the creepy crawlers that scare me uh the rat the rats i'm uh, rats i'm all right with rats i'm all right with uh it's the, it's just the little wriggly ones like the mealworms and the cockroaches and the crickets and the um uh, the scorpions and the spiders and you know even the snakes you know there's probably gonna be snakes at some point but um i mean there already is snakes at some point but you know it's, it, I don't know, it's one of those shows that scares me to death. Like, again, I think like with many of these shows, I think it's one of them where I would accept it if I got up with the opportunity and then I would feel immediately regretful a second after I say yes. So, again, it's one of those where it fills me with doubt every single flame in time. But I give it a good go. And to be fair, thank you very much, Noah, for saying that you'd imagine me being in the camp. Um, and to be fair, I've, I've looked at the uniform. I look good in jungle shorts. I think I'd look good in jungle shorts with my bulky calves of steel. But, um, you know, we'll see. But thank you very much, Noah, for your comment. Let's move on to the next amazing comment that you guys have put down in below the poll. Next comment is from Jack Shears, who says, Celebrity SAS because I'm mean. Fair play, Jack. Thank you very much for your comment. Uh, and again, Celebrity SAS, it's one of those shows where it's a never-say-die attitude. It's a never-give-up attitude with that show. And, you know, doing it, you know, it, you'd feel a sense of pride and achievement for doing it. Uh, but it's one of those that's a physical strain, a mental strain, an emotional strain. And, you know, again, it's just one of those where I'm like, can I really do this? Can I actually do this? Um, so again, you know, it's one of those, but Celebrity SAS is a good show. Um, it's a really good show, but, uh, would I be able to do it? 
probably not, but you know, if I, again, if I said yes, I'd give it a good go, but again, I'd be awful at it. So, thank you very much for your comment, Jack, but I think that Celebrity SAS maybe isn't the one for me, unfortunately. Uh, let's move on to our next comment. TP Hattie says, dancing on ice with a red heart emoji. So thank you very much for your comment, TP Hattie, a massive fan of the channel. Thank you very much for subscribing and liking the videos and everything like that. Um, again, this is a show that I am afraid, I'm not going to lie, I am absolutely scared to my wits about this show. Um, for those of you who don't know what this show is, basically it's a bunch of celebs, they get taught basic training on ice and then they go through the partner training you get paired with a professional skater and you do these routines and there's judges challenges all throughout the week and everyone gets eliminated week after week and you know brilliant judges amazing presenters and again it's one of those experiences that's not likely to be forgotten at all in your life and again, this is a show that I would say yes and I would regret immediately because I can't ice skate, I can't dance on land, let alone on the ice, so I would have no experience whatsoever. Um, <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this. Um, but yeah, Dance on Ice is one of those, again, I would have nothing to do, uh, not nothing to do with, but I'd, I'd have no experience, I'd have nothing to do with ice. Um, and to be fair, I did that channel update months ago and I did get a comment from someone saying you should do Dancing on Ice next year. Now, again, if I got off the opportunity, I'd say yes. But, again, I'd be immediately regretful. So, again, it's one of those where you sort of think, can I actually do this? Um, but it would be, well, the plus side, it would be a good experience. And again, it's, it's, it's a new skill, it's learning some new abilities, and it's an overall fantastic experience. Uh, so thank you very much for your comment, TP Hattie. You're a massive fan of the channel, I know. So thank you very much. And um, yeah, if you want to see everyone dancing on ice, just comment down below if you want to. Comment from Gaming King OMG, who says, "Strictly come dancing because I'd love to see you dancing with a partner and showing off your moves." So thank you very much, Gaming King OMG. And uh, again, strictly come dancing. Would you want to see me do some moves? Probably not. But um, again, it's one of those where. I say yes, and I would regret it immediately because it's a fantastic, it's a dream show to be on, fantastic show, and you know it'd be one of the best experiences of my life. I know that, but um, again, no experience. Would I do good? Maybe, maybe not. But again, it's just one of those once in a lifetime things that you wouldn't say no to. But again, you'd feel with regret immediately. Um, massive training schedule. I mean, if I did do this, then I'd be cutting down on these videos a lot because most of my time will be taken up by training, um, extra rehearsals that go long into the night. And um, again, it's just one of those shows, isn't it? So uh, thank you very much for your comment, Gaming King OMG. And uh, I'm glad that you want to see me on Strictly. But again, I. <laughs> I don't know how well I'd do. Finally, Single Rail Industries who said, I voted for I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here because you could get much more famous and it would be awesome to see you in TV. Thank you very much for your comment, Single Rail Industries, and thank you very much for your kind words. Um, again, like Strictly, like Dancing on Ice, Don't Rock the Bow recently as well. I'm a Celeb is one of those shows that I would say yes to and immediately regret, but again, it's one of those once in a lifetime experiences you would not say no to. Um, you know, and to be fair, I'm a Celebrity, it's good to end on this comment actually, because I'm a Celebrity is the top rated in the poll. 68% of the votes, and again, you know, could I do it? Would I do it? I don't know. But, I think the thing, I think the thing th to think about with I'm a Celeb, it's expect the unexpected you might you, you know you might ask some people for advice etc but you always expect the unexpected and again it's one of those shows that you don't know what's coming even though there's some favorites in there that stay every single series the stuff that you still don't expect and they'll always pull up some tricks up your sleeves and again it's one of those where it's think can i handle the mental physical emotional strain maybe maybe not and you know but to be fair again it's one of those where if they are offered i'd say yes 100 percent. but again could i put up with the strain would i have to physically mentally emotionally keep up with it probably 
but it's the positivity, like the letters from home, letters from family, um, winning the trials, getting treats and the Dingo Dollar Challenge, all these different things that keep the positive morale alive. And again, it's one of those experiences that would not be seen to, it, it, you have to see it to believe it in real life. So um, I watch it every single year. I've watched it every single year. And again, it's one of those shows where you've got to see it to believe it. So, you know, you can only feel what they've gone through, the past people and the celebrities in the camp have gone through, if you do it yourself. So, you know, it'd be great to do that show. Uh, and then I can sort of, you know, come out and say, man, I really feel sorry for them celebs. And I, and I would say that because I would have just done it. But again, uh, it's one of those shows where I could do it, but again, the physical, mental, emotional strain may be too much. Um, so thank you very much, Single Rail Industries, for your comment. Thank you, everyone, for your comments in this poll reaction video. Like I said, poll five, uh, which I think I might do about a theme park in Europe. I might switch it up a bit again and do some European parks for the next poll. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Poll five should be out by the time you're watching this. And for now... My name is Coast Shell. Keep living the coaster life. Let's get closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers and half a million views. I think we're like 9,000 views off of the half a million mark, which is unbelievable. And I will do two milestone videos. One for 2K subscribers, one for half a million views. And I will do my best to be positive and, you know, share my joy with you lot in both those videos so thank you very much my name is coast child hope them the coast of life and for now thank you very much have a nice thrill tastic day